Eh, let's start this craziness, shall we? Uh, let's do it. Hey, everybody. Uh, so what the hell is this? <laughs> um, this is actually, believe it or not, Diablo 2. This is, uh... A relatively old game, I would say. Um, actually, been a long time since I played this game, and uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, I want to start a new series of doing some of the older games I used to love and enjoy, and see if I can still get back into them. Um, it's kind of got my retro series. Uh, actually, this game I played uh, probably way too much and spent way too much time. Uh, I've had a few cases of not sleeping through the night, period, because of it. Um, and actually, uh, most of that time I was actually played with a good friend of mine. Uh, goes by Cosmic, and he's actually here with us today. Say hi, buddy. Hello, everybody. And it was more than just a few times we played this game. <laughs> I would say a few hundred times. We, we, there, there may have been a couple of days in a row where I actually did not actually sleep. <laughs> just kind of played through the night, went back to work. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, actually, this is this uh, was... The very tail end of the 90s going into the 2000s it was um, before we got turned on to EverQuest and that sucked the life out of us. This this game was pretty much primarily what we played uh, nonstop to nauseam. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a reboot on it and have a little fun here. Then we're going to start off. I literally have we just created this uh, game here and uh, the characters and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, get things off and running here. We've got our little first quest of go out and, and explore the new world. I'm playing in Amazon simply because I always play in Amazon. It's been kind of my my go-to gal. And Sal looks like a uh, assassin. Yeah, normally I'm on Amazon as well, but this time I figured I'd play an ass. <laughs> oh, good times. Yeah, this is. I I can't even imagine how many times uh, um, we've we've oh god the hours like I said the hours we have played on this dumb game it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, so where's, where's the that's the what's the map overlay button? I can't remember. Tab. It's a horrible drink, by the way, kids. Don't ever drink it. Anybody would ever want this goddamn drinks. Ugh. And alt I think was show shit on the ground. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Here we go. Here's our cave. The Cave of Wonders. You go that way, I'll go this way. Oh, you take the high road, and I'll take the low. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm looking down, not paying attention. Oh, I love these guys. You die first. These little ugly shits were always fun because they would uh, die, and then their little chieftain would raise them up back up, and they could be problematic. Especially the later ones where they actually had uh, two levels of chieftains. One chieftain, the <laughs> master chieftains to get rid of, or pick up the little chieftains, and they'd pick up the little jerk-offs here. <laughs> oh, I hated those ones. <laughs> I'm having difficulty picking shit up off the ground. Uh, point and click, I believe. <laughs> Just to help you out here. I believe shift, you'd hold still so you could click everywhere and not run off everywhere. Yeah, I switched that to spacebar because my thumb always sits there. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. For the moment here, I'm just leaving everything default until I decide what I want to do with myself. <laughs> oh man, it has been a long, long time. So uh, me and uh, me and Cosmic actually uh, met uh, one of my early jobs. I uh, went and applied for a job at Blockbuster in uh, '98 or '99, and I. Walked in, the, the, the extent of my interview for Blockbuster was I dropped the uh, application off with the store manager. She looked at it and said, great, when can you start? <laughs> and uh, at the time, uh, Cosmic here was uh, um, uh, assistant manager at the place. And uh, we ended up hitting it off and I'd go hang out at his place and we'd play video games of all sorts and types from con uh, console to PC. And at one point we had a pretty ripping setup in uh, his garage with our uh, PCs and monitors and 
everything else. And of course, we were proper gamers in that uh, we would systematically go down to the video store and, or the uh, uh, computer store and grab you know, a few additional copies of the game and, and find ways to cheat and hack and, <laughs> uh, you know, get free stuff we shouldn't get. <laughs> uh, key generators were our friends back then. Okay, we, we, we uh, let's see, what, what, what else was there? I, I, we, I know we played uh, Worms Armageddon. That was a, that was a We didn't play thing. that one that much. I never really got to do anything in it. Oh, we played a little bit. I, I remember that was one of the things. I'm trying to think what else we did on the computer. And we played a lot of console games. We had a lot of... Uh, we did Dreamcast and uh, the PS1 back then. That was... Uh, trying, wow, I'm, I'm just absolutely blanking on what we did for PC. Well, we had StarCraft. I too. know we did a lot of Unreal. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I still maintain one of the best uh, first-person uh, shooter games that I've played in a long time. This is this is back... Ooh, level. This is back when uh, uh, Doom and Quake were kind of big, big players of the time. Uh, Unreal came along. Ooh, that's a nice one. Hello. Aww. Um, But... Uh, uh, Quake and uh, Doom were kind of having their, oh cool, were having their uh, their heyday, and then Unreal came along. They're kind of like build a new gaming engine and, and show it off kind of a deal. Now, see, Amazonians, I believe, like dexterity. It's not bad to begin with, but I actually want to get kind of my life and energy up. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea when I what I want to use yet. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm trying to... I remember I always like dump a bunch into the primary stat and then end up uh, shafting myself because I'll get some piece of armor that's like, I'm sorry, you're too stupid to use this. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm I think too... I'm dexterity as well. <laughs> I'm too dumb to put this armor on. <laughs> How, how does that work exactly? Are you, are you just do you put the stupid thing on backwards? Are you, are you wearing your chest plate on your legs or something? Why would an Amazon want to wear pants? <laughs> Can't show off my sexy butt. <laughs> <laughs> you can go back to town and get my prize. Yes, yeah, so we played uh, played a lot of Unreal. As a matter of fact, I had a bunch of other friends that we would uh, hook up with, and we do uh, land land games. This is, this is back in the days when. Legitimately, we didn't have a good interwebs. Uh, a friend of mine actually got uh, a DSL in his house for the first time, and we all piled into his house, had seven computers uh, strapped in there, and oh my god, it was like blazing speeds. <laughs> and I think back then, like DSL was something like, you know, maybe half or one up at best. Here. Well, well, well. well, well. Isn't that nice? Oh my god, there's another abomination somewhere. Sorry, I'm not like when I'm playing these all the way through. I just, you know, I've, I've listened to them a million times. And I really want to sit here and listen to them. Uh, but yeah, we, we played a lot of Unreal Tournament uh, in the groups. And, uh, uh, well, there's Unreal, Unreal Tournament, and then they had Unreal 2, and then Unreal 3. I really didn't do number two. I did do number three a little bit. I actually like number three a lot because of the uh, vehicles. I should probably go sell some of this garbage. Probably not the arrows, though. Yes, I know who you are. Thank you. I would like to trade. Yeah, there's an assassin's only uh, one-handed damage POS. Ah, you probably won't need that. I want a belt so I can hold more potions. Here, here. That wand, I'll give me some cash. Give me the cash! Belt. Uh, let's see here. Sash to defense. Sturdy sash. And then a light belt. 
defense three, defense three, durability. Doesn't matter which way you go, huh? Whew. Uh, yes. Oh my god, you just bought the one I was looking at. <laughs> ah! <Dick>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing about this game here is a little bit of uh, interplayer overlap, so you'll end up having a situation where you can actually uh, <laughs> pick things up off the ground out from under them, which is a problem, since you pick up games. But uh, eh, it was kind of nature of the beast. You really had to be careful who you hooked up with in these games. You know, you know, retards or kids, and it was just, yeah. Bad news. <laughs> Bad news all around. What I really want, actually, I should go back up there. I really want is, uh, I want... Uh, a bow. Oh my god, I'm so used to clicking on the X. I, I keep almost closing out the whole entire game. <laughs> Cry level 4. That's a 2 to 6 damage. 1 to 3. 2 to 6. This is a 2 to 6 hunter's bow. Now, I, I could easily probably pick something up soon enough, but... Don't forget if you press W, you can switch between two different weapon layouts. Ah, that's true. forgot about that. Now, this hunter's bow here is neat because it's two six damage. Nothing special. It's very fast XP, but it's also got three slots. But that is just about every single piece of gold I've got. Now, if I go this way, this is two six, and plus four life stolen per hit. Ooh, and it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah, I'll just go for the easy one for right now. I can always get more stuff later. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to leave these things in here in my secondary slot, as Cosmic has pointed out, because I might need them. Funny thing about arrows, they inevitably run out on you. Oh, yes, I forgot. Get skill tree. Ah, uh, yes, the advent of the skill tree. Magic arrow or fire arrow? Hmm. Once again, decisions, decisions. Yeah, I really got kind of will go both ways anyway, so. Yeah, we'll just leave those there for now. I'm gonna use magic missile. Which we'll go ahead and do that with the secondary. So now I've got my mice set up so that my left click's the good old fashioned attack, and then my right click is a fire arrow. I can be all getting my flame on, yo. <laughs> I don't remember any of these skills. They all look like shit, and I don't want to click any of them. <laughs> this is why I went for familiarity. <laughs> oh, mercy me. But yeah, so uh, I, I definitely say this is one of my favorite favorite games back in the day here, and it was uh, it was a blast because, like I said, it was there was always something to do and. Uh, once you go through the first, well, back in the day, it was four chapters for the original game. They end up having an expansion later, but uh, you go through the four chapters, and then you could go back and do the the medium level, and then the I think it's like four, it was three or four tiers. Can't remember now. Mm, I I don't recall either. Yeah. In any case, they basically you go back through, you do the same things over again, but you do it at a higher tier. You got top kid. We got to a point where we were up in the you know, 80s, 90s plus level category, and, and even the most difficult level now, we would, we would just go out and farm Diablo just to get crap, and it got kind of boring. So we started going to the uh, the modded uh, the modded routes. We actually would look for like a little program that you'd tell it basic kind of the attributes you'd want. The way the way this game worked is you'd have uh, uh, you know, different items that drop with their magical items. They have a chance to generate different abilities or attributes depending on the situation and uh you know, just based on kind of the naming structure if you will to simplify the <laughs> simplify the explanation so we had this program that we kind of tell it the attributes we we're looking for and to just set the task and we're talking about something that literally we would queue it up for the evening go to bed and it you know might be done chewing through possibilities <laughs> overnight and we take that uh that file that information and go ahead and throw it into uh, our game. We have that nice little custom uh, 
uh, custom attribute or custom weapon to use. And those were fun. We started doing different modded levels and things. And we actually found a modded uh, level. Just like, just like I talked about the different tiers from easy to hard. This is like insane. And even at the hoopty level with the hoopty weapons we had, it about munched us just in this whole starting area. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I have absolutely no mana. Cracked Sash. So. I think my favorite part of this game was the cow level. Ah, uh, yes. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. <laughs> Shoot one, they all run away. Mm. This is a First part of my life, pick up everything. <laughs> Woo, four gold! Yay, four. Yes, now I remember I was bad. As soon as you get magic arrows of any sort, you know, my, uh, my capacities just absolutely suck because I shoot like four arrows and I've got no mana left. <laughs> and yes, kids, to be clear, it's mana. Mana. Dingle doors say mana. Which, you know, it's, it's not that bad. I, I can accept that. The, the the thing that irritates the living gagas out of me are these idiots that refer to hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat as mealy. It's not mealy. An apple that's not ripe. That's mealy. It's melee. Jesus Christ, people. That that's probably the biggest thing that, that annoys the crap out of me. Stamina potion, ooh, crude scepter. That's kind of one of the cool things about this game too. I really liked is the ability to say, "Oh, I'm gonna uh, uh, pick up you know ram items and go sell them, make a little extra cash on them." Kind of you start you start doing this. How long can I stay out for? And, uh, you know, you start picking through your inventory. Let's see, I, I, want, I want to pick this up. This is worth more. And I'm going to drop this. Many sacrifices. <laughs> the hard decisions. So that lasted, that lasted for a good while. Let's see, we got some pretty high level characters. And then uh, we started working at this other company and met some people. They were gamers. And they played this game called EverQuest. And, you know, first instinct of it when they talked about it was, wait, you pay a monthly fee to play a game? Dude. It took you so long to get me to finally start that game. Oh, yeah. Well, it took me a while to even get to it, too. I was just like, there's no way in God's green earth I'm going to pay a monthly fee for this damn game. It, it just ain't going to happen. And, you, I mean, come on. The, think of the concept. You have to understand this is back when yeah, you bought a game, and that was it. You bought the game. And here comes this 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 game where you went out and paid the same exact amount of money, thirty, forty dollars, uh, and then we're expected to pay monthly for it. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and uh I, I, I finally gave in and I uh uh went ahead and tried it out and man, it was horribly addictive. That was uh, that was the original EverQuest. As a matter of fact, I got into it in two thousand one, I want to say, and that was uh, that was kind of the, the beginning of the end of this game. <laughs> well, with the hundreds of hours we put into this game, that's why I didn't want to play that game. I knew I'd do the same thing. <laughs> I held out for as long as I could. You know, it, it, it's it's one of those things like when you invest time in something like this, you got those characters and everything. So it's like any other game; you you have that time investment, and uh, it, it's hard to give it up. Plus, it's it's familiar. That's the other thing too is it is familiar. You do get used to you to playing it, and especially with EverQuest. You have, that's the other thing you have to keep in mind too is that you know this is this is one of the not one of the first uh, MMOs by any stretch of the imagination. But it was one of the uh, uh, first kind of first person 3D uh, uh, MMOs. And 
it was it was very different. And you want to talk about you know game companies and designers were still kind of learning their way around interfaces. This game was not a game that you went. You know what? I'm kind of a loner. I don't really have any friends. I'm gonna go pick this game up and play it. No. The only reason why I could really understand this game and really get into it was because I literally trucked my computer over to my boss's house, the guy who got me into this, and uh, sat, you know, basically set my computer up right next to his so that I could basically get a tutorial from him on when you log in, here's what this menu is, here's how you get to this, here's how you set this up. I did, there were no good tutorials. This game did not had no sympathy for you. It did not sit there and walk you through it. So you either knew the game or you didn't. Real hard to get into. But man, once you start getting into it, it was one hell of an experience. And just, I mean, I think I probably cracked out on that more than I did this game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of this crap here. That's a lovely scepter. That'll make some cash for me. Some crappy axes and that. And do I have any scrolls of identification? Let's go ahead and identify this. Ooh. Attacker takes one damage. Cannot be repaired. Let's go ahead and do it. What the heck? <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. And do you want that uh, Sasha bot? That sturdy Sash? Sure, I'll take it. I still don't have one. Okay. I don't suppose you have a scroll of identify by chance. Uh, yes, I do. I'll trade you for that. I gotta identify a ring. Where are you at? Yo, where are you at? Oh, right man. above you. Are you just throwing things on the ground now? That's <laughs> quicker than hitting trade. Ah, that's true, that. Alright, you go there. Identify that. Let's see. Ring of craftsmanship. Plus one to maximum damage. Woohoo! I are cooler now. Alright. So that is kind of a, a, a first look here at uh, at Diablo. Uh, like I said, I kind of want to do this as a little retro series just for fun because it's been a long time since I've played it. Um, so I definitely uh, will be doing a few more episodes of this for sure. And I'm also thinking about uh, playing some StarCraft, the original StarCraft with the Blue Wars expansion. So you may see a couple of those pop up. Um, trying to kind of dig back my memory now about some of the games I played because I'd like to pick up a couple more of those and kind of do a whole bunch of a whole bunch of retro um i don't have anything set up for doing like uh, uh console type stuff for game capture or video capture so i unfortunately can't really get into that uh and i didn't really get into computers till well, right around 98 honestly uh is when i first got into computers so i really don't have a, a big lineage of it. i played the original original diablo one and that's what drew me to this one here um yeah i mean it's really just <laughs> trying to rack my brain on anything else i really played blizzard pretty much swooped me up between this and starcraft they kind of ate a lot of my time and then like i said Era, um unreal tournament came along and you know that was pretty much it for me but uh that's it for now i appreciate the uh hanging out with us here and we'll uh be back again we'll do some more uh exciting Jibber jabbering and, and slaying of monsters and talking about the good old days and uh, so this goes on here. So for now, take it easy, stay happy, people, and I will talk to you later. Ciao.